Another historic ISRO milestone, that's right. ISRO has now successfully conducted a trial run for its docking experiment using the SpadeX satellites. Two of them called Chaser and Target. Now the satellites came within almost three meters of distance within each other before being moved apart to safer distances. Uh, the docking process will follow only after careful analysis of the trial data. Now launched on the 30th of December, the mission aims to demonstrate in-space docking using small spacecraft. And if successful, India is going to be joining the elite group of nations like the United States, Russia and China to master this critical technology. And this is key for future endeavors like lunar sample returns, establishing India's own space station by 2035 and sending astronauts to the moon by 2040. Its caution stems from the complexity of docking two moving satellites in space. And this is the technology, a tech demonstration mission where precision and accuracy are prioritized over speed. Uh, the space agency is ensuring everything aligns perfectly before proceeding with the full docking attempt. Joining us on the broadcast is Professor M. S. Prasad, Director, the Amity Institute of Space Science and Technology and former scientist with the DRDO. A very warm welcome to you, Professor. Professor, a big advent Brilliant. when you're talking about, uh, you know, India's own space research. We're talking about docking in the lower orbital area. Um, this is going to pay way for our own Bharat Antrik space station and, uh, you know, several other key and upcoming missions. How are you looking at these developments? A major, major milestone for ISRO nonetheless. Namaskar. It's a very big problem, and we have to sort this out because mm. we will be the fifth nation in the world who can do the docking. Mm. And it is the biggest milestone for us to get the satellite docked so that in the future we can send the cargo, we can, as you said, the lunar swells or swell of any other thing can be kept. The one of the most important part comes in the docking is the precision in which the mm, two satellites mm. must mate together. See, it's not in the ground that you can do anything what you feel like. The most important part, why the ISRO today has pulled back is mm. there could be the little drifting between the two satellites. Mm. Another is their attitude has to be same. What generally we do that on a target satellite, we have some markings known mm -hmm. as fiducial mm -hmm. markings. The changer satellite has to align itself with that marking so that the smaller components can join together. That's one of the most important parts. That's why most of the time, this process takes little careful analysis of the data which the ISRO has just published it today. See, one of the problem which we have to sort it out is we are transferring the power from the change out mm -hmm. to the target. Obviously, the connection would not be a very big connection like the door or a small window. So you can imagine the precision at which these two masks has to join together. Which is why ISRO has made it quite clear, Professor, that it's going to be moving at a velocity of just 10 millimeters per second. And of course, at this point yes. in time also, after two postponements, still data is being analyzed before the final docking does in fact go on. Mm -hmm. Now, you've mentioned if successful, we're going to be the fifth nation across the planet. Let's say, let's assume this happens successfully and with the given past record, track record of ISRO, I think it will go on successfully. What will that mean for India? How soon will we look at Gaganyaan, Chandrayaan-4 and a proper Indian space station, sir? See, once it becomes successful, you hmm. can take it for granted that our space institute or ISR and mission will be the most successful and cost-effective process because we have also put a robotic hand there. See, mm. once it is done, not only Gaganyaan, which is in the process of making and it is going through the process of testing, simulation and other things, what we can do is our mission of 2040, where we plan to land up into the moon and pick up the soil and bring it back from the Mars and moon, that becomes successful. And uh, we have an endeavor to have our own Bharat Antrich station.
Now, once you establish the Bharat Tantric cessation, you have to have a method of docking so that the cargo, experimental data, so many other things can be pushed in and pushed out back to the earth for further analysis. So we will gain a biggest knowledge challenge and the successful mm -hmm. attempt, mathematical simulation, large number of orbit calculation, which accurately Absolutely depends right, on how we have taken.